again, it's Kennard Burn and Stewart here for the podcast. We're talking Auburn football. Go ahead and like the video, comment, and subscribe to Vernon Speak Sports Auburn. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger War Eagle. As if the challenges couldn't get any greater, um, Auburn actually plummeting down the statistical range as far as some key statistics, like how they perform on first down on defense, uh, abysmal running game, 27 to 6 loss to one of your bitter rivals. As if matters couldn't get more challenging, Auburn will go into a momentum filled game, especially Arkansas coming off a huge win over Mississippi State. Will have to play this game without leader KJ Britt. KJ Britt, all SEC linebacker, has the heart of a lion. You know what I'm saying? He's on every play, he's on every tackle. You could tell. I was actually telling a buddy of mine, I was like, man, K.J. Britt has been pretty much on and off the field pretty much all night. It seems like he's battling an injury. And let me tell you why I know and why some of the things that I talk about are from tangible experience. I could tell he was battling an injury and he was still trying to stay in there because I remember there was this one particular football game where I had calcium deposits in my arm. And if you played linebacker, you know that your upper body is a very important part of the game. And with the calcium deposit, like right in the middle of my left arm, any contact, like if you hit it the wrong way, can be excru- excruciating, pa- excruciatingly painful. But a person who's never gone through an injury or a person that says, OK, he's walking around, he's not, you know, they'll be like, well, why can't he get back in the game? Because it's a nagging injury and it's a nagging enough injury to keep you from being able to make the same kind of contact that you would make otherwise. So let's talk about KJ Britt's injury real quick. Now, most of us, if I, if you could just wiggle your thumb real quick, right? So just imagine right in the middle of the hinge of your thumb that separates the thumb and the actual other portions of your hand. If that's torn or if that's, um, that ligament, is torn or is this tampered with a little bit is going to make it just just uh, bring your thumb to your finger and just imagine pain when you do that because the ligament is starting to either tear or starting to separate. If you're playing the middle middle linebacker position, you need to have access to that portion of your hand because you need sometimes you might have to grab. Sometimes you might need to fight off a block. And it's really difficult. I know some, I I even saw a comment where a person was saying, well, he can put it. No, you can't put a cast on this. You, You need the mobility of your thumb in coordination with the rest of your hand to effectively play linebacker, especially if the right hand is your dominant hand. I'm not sure how long KJ Britt will be out with this injury, but it's going to be a huge loss because He was basically the quarterback on the field. Now Auburn is going to have to rely either on Owen Papo at that middle linebacker or, of course, Wesley Steiner is going to have to probably make his first appearance in college football. But this is a lethal. This is a lethal blow to an already inexperienced defense. And I want to keep the thoughts and prayers to the uh, parents of K.J. Britt, uh, Tanya Britt, and his father, Kenny, really want to keep those guys in your prayers. And I, I know K.J. Britt's a strong guy. He's going to make a full recovery, but nevertheless, a huge, huge loss for the Auburn Tigers. And so unfortunate because I know K.J. Britt was looking very forward to an optimistic senior season. And I know how that can be battling an injury throughout. Because I know my senior year of high school battling an injury a whole year, just fighting through it. Still had a pretty successful year, but... Uh, It did take a toll. All right, guys, go ahead and like the video, comment, and subscribe to Vernon Speak Sports Auburn. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger, War Eagle.